Praise the Lord and most worthy of oh, praise. The city of our God, the holy place. The joy of the the Lord in whom we have the victory. He hates us against the enemy. We bow down on our
bow our heads as we approach the Holy Throne for this morning. As we humble ourselves. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. As we have sung, sung that song, we will lift up your name on high for your loving kindness for us for the past week. For your loving kindness to us every day. For your loving kindness that is better than life every hour. And we are enjoying it, Lord, even every minute. And the life that we are breathing that came from you in every second. As we worship you through your word. For the continuity, Lord, of the move of the Holy Spirit in our age. As the prophet had said that this is a continuation of the book of Acts. We pray, Father, for you to speak to us. We pray, Lord God, for you to teach us, Lord, through the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. <clears throat> Upon this rock, you have promised, Lord, that you will build your church. The rock of revelation, Lord, that has... It's been exposed and revealed into our age. Lord, we pray for you to build our faith. Kung meron nagihina sa kanyang pananampalataya, aming Ama, if that believer is a bride of Christ, Lord, you will increase his or her faith. And thank you, Father, as we worship you. Dalangin namin, Lord, kayo ang magbumisita sa bawat tahanang nakikinig. Lord, though we are still limited in numbers in actual fellowship, but Lord, the church is your people, scattered all over the world, one head and one body, one spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Maraming maraming salamat, aming ama. And we are also praying for all the internet signals, Lord, as the bride is praying even in remote areas for them to hear. Lord, we will worship you even in our homes and even in our hearts. As the message has implied, Lord, the true place of worship is in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And if your word is preached, Lord, then Lord Jesus Christ is preached. Because Christ and the word are one. Maraming maraming salamat. We worship you, Father, as you bless us, Lord, in our watching and listening. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we believe and we pray. Amen. 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 Thank God. If you will just stand, we will read the word for the Bible study, the first part of the service. Then after this, um, we will reconnect, correct ba? No, for the preaching of the word? Okay. Because again, for the sake sa mga hindi nakakalam, the messages are now documented. At ito ay um, per, per subject ay inia-upload for us mga kapatid na pwede natin bisitahin muli. Dahil may mga mensahe mga kapatid na mas naiintindihan natin pag tatlong beses na natin narinig. But nothing can defeat, mga kapatid, the purpose of hearing it live. Kaya nga, if you are hearing it and watching it live, we are privileged because this is not a man's move. It is the move of the Holy Spirit. In Revelation chapter 13, natapos sa na tayo ng Revelation 12. May kausap akong kapatid kahak gagabi at... Um, na-appreciate niya mga kapatid dahil siya ay malayo at ang kanyang declared church ay ang Token Life Ministries but now he, the, he and his family is enjoying <clears throat> the whole of it Bible study, prayer meeting even the preaching of the word at ang sabi niya no, this is strange but this is reality na mas marami siyang naintindihan ngayon sa mga Bible studies natin siguro kasi pwede nating ulitin ulit no? At uh, hindi nagkulang ang ating Panginoon sa mga bagay na yan. Kaya nga, sabi nga, Pastor, hindi natin napansin, nakakalahati na tayo ng Book of Revelations. Yes, in the almost four months of quarantine and lockdown formerly, 
at ngayon is uh, increasingly or progressingly going back to new normal. Nakakalahati na tayo at hindi itong mga kapatid uh, basta-basta because these are golden nuggets of the world. At ang book of Revelation ang isang aklat mga kapatid na ang sabi ng prophet si Kristo mismo ang nagsulat just appearing to a scribe. So all books are important. But the book of Revelation, mga kapatid, and the book of Genesis, Satan hates those two books. But sabi ng prophet, but we love it. Okay? Revelation chapter 13, verse 1. And I stood upon the sun of the sea, and so a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was, so singular lang yung beast, no? Pero may makikita tayo ritong apat na nilalang or apat na sabihin nating similitude of that beast. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard and his feet were the feet as of a bear and his mouth as the mouth of a lion and the dragon gave him his power. And his seat and great authority. So the title of this uh, Sunday school teaching for this morning, this is Revelation 13 na. So how many chapters to go? Nine chapters to go? Lord willing, di natin alam kung babalik na tayo sa new normal, but still the live streaming will continue on. Just pray for it. The beast out of the sea. May the Lord... Uh, uh, Reveal His words sa atin sa mga oras na ito. Mga kaupo na tayo, mga kapatid. No? Okay. So, if you are noticing, of course, this is series. At uh, makikita natin dito na after ipakita, mga kapatid, sa Revelation 12, kung sino yung dragon, kung sino yung uh, that, that uh, serpent, yung wonders in heaven na atin po nga nakita at makikita rin natin mga kapatid sa mga oras na ito na uh, itinuloy ng, uh, ng ating Panginoon through the writings of uh, Saint John the Divine itong Revelation 13 at ang uh, salut- salutation na uh, verse this is the beast that rises up out of the sea okay and uh, ang sabi sa slide na yan, si John ay nakatayo sa mga buhanginan sa dagat. At doon, mga kapatid, in a vision, nakakita siya ng isang halimaw o hayop no? na siya ay uh, bumangon galing sa dagat. Mamaya may kita natin, all, are, all these are symbols, all of this, mga kapatid, no? Nung wala pa tayo sa message na nakikita natin ay puro hayop, that's why we don't understand it. That's why we live in fear. But thank God for the message of the hour na ipinakita sa atin ng ating Panginoon. These are all symbolical. Okay. At ang sabi dito, ang description ng hayop na yon, this beast rises up out of the sea. Because after that, mga kapatid, there's a beast that will rise up out of the land. And after that, there will be an image of the beast. And after that, there will be a mark of the beast. So, apat yan. Hindi natin kaya ang pagkasyahin sa isang Bible study. But I suggest, mga kapatid, you, uh, you follow on. Dahil hindi mo maintindihan kung ano yung beast out of the land, pag hindi mo naintindihan yung beast out of the sea, then meron pang beast out of the... Uh, meron pang... Uh, image of the beast, then meron pang mark of the beast. No? Pero makikita natin, uh, all of this are one. Kasi isa lang eh. Pero may makikita kang apat na description. Okay. Sabi rito, this beast are having seven heads and ten horns. And upon his horns, ten crowns. And upon his heads, the name of blasphemy. Verse 2, And the beast which I saw was like unto A. So, hindi ito leopard, hindi ito bear, hindi ito lion, like A. No? Kasi nga walang description si John, kaya pag si John pa nagsalita ng like A, may nakita siya dito sa lupa, nung nakita ko yung halimaw na yun, parang ganun. Not literal na leopard, not literal na 
na bear, not literal na lion, but like unto. Okay. At ang sabi mga kapatid, ng verse 2, And the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. What a beast. No? At alam natin mga kapatid kung bakit importante ang pag-usapan natin dito. Hindi ang Diyos ang nagbigay ng authority sa hayop na ito. And then define mga kapatid, the Revelation 12 defined this dragon as Satan himself. And this dragon gave this beast power, that's one. And this dragon gave this beast his seat. So may luklukan ito, nakaupo ito. No? At pag nakaupo ito mga kapatid, this dragon was given an authority. Okay. So makikita natin. No? Sa verse 3, And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death and his deadly wound was healed and all the world wandered after the beast. Ang ganda ng istorya ng, ng, ng hayop na ito, mga kapatid. Why? Kasi sabi nga, nasugatan ito at yung sugat nito, mga kapatid, is halos ikamatay niya. So, hindi ito literal, mga kapatid. Mamaya makikita natin merong isang bansa o sana maabutan because uh, next in next time, next next week, makikita natin itong apat na description ng halimaw na ito. Then we will speak about these political powers, No? Now, we will be speaking about powers. When we speak about this, it, it will speak of powers. And I saw one of his heads, sabi rito, nung ito ay nasugatan, gumaling yung sugat nito. So, bumangon din ito. At nung bumangon ito, mga kapatid, ang, ang definition ng Bible, ang description nito, and all the world wandered after the beast. This beast is world-renowned. Hindi ito ordinary <clears throat> hayop. Or if, we will, if I will paraphrase it, this is not an ordinary power. <clears throat> because the world wandered after that power. <clears throat> Excuse me. Verse 4, And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. Ever since, yan naman ang gusto ni Satanas eh. Diba? Satan wants to be worshipped. At ang hindi madadaya ang mga hinirang mga kapatid. The Bible had mentioned, they worship the dragon which gave power unto the beast. So, nasan ba ito mga kapatid? Whether direct or indirect, whether conscious or unconscious ang tao, talagang uh, uh, wise din itong dragon na ito mga kapatid. But by using this power, the people worship the dragon. Sino ba naman tao, mga kapatid, kahit na anong relihiyon tanungin mo ngayon? Tanungin mo ang tao, gusto mo bang sambayin si Satanas? Sasabihin niya, ayaw niya. But it is biblical, mga kapatid, na dahil sa hayop na ito, nasamba ng tao yung dragon. Sa lahat na nakikinig ngayon, kahit hindi niyo sa akin sabihin, walang taong gustong sumamba kay Satanas. Pero ito nga eh, the wise shall understand na merong nangyayari ngayon, mga kapatid, na move na hindi alam ng tao nang akala niya ang Diyos ang nasasamba niya sa loob ng iglesia, hindi niya alam by using this power, by using this seat, by using this authority, nasamba ng tao ang dragon at sabi mga kapatid, and they worship the beast saying, who is like unto the beast, who is able to make war with him? Okay. So mukhang malakas ito. Kaya nga, sa so verse 4, this is Bible study naman, ha? I, am, I am expounding every verse. Hindi eh, katulad ng pangangaral, mga kapatid, uh, ano yan, by inspiration tuloy-tuloy yan. But uh, I'm trying to make this in detail, mga kapatid, kasi nasa kalahati na tayo ng book of Revelation. No? And actually, Revelation 16, Revelation 17, and even Revelation 18, konektado ito sa halimaw na ito. No? Dahil next, next week, we will speak about the, the, the beast out of the land. Okay? Then, and so on, and so forth. Hanggang sa makaabot tayo sa Revelation chapter 22. <clears throat> After they worship the dragon which gave power to the beast, ang sabi naman ng verse 4, and they worship the beast. 
Napansin niyo ba mga kapatid? Matapos silang sambahin ang drago na si Satanas, after no, nasamba na rin nila yung hayop. Kaya hang, ha, habang tayo ay nagpapatuloy yung mga kapatid, no? lalo na sa mga bisita nating nanonood, isipin nyo ang isa, hindi ito mga kapatid isang kapangyarihan na magpapakita na siya ang kaaway. Isipin ninyo mga kapatid ang isang kapangyarihan na world-renowned, na walang makalaban. No? At sabi rito mga kapatid, ang nagbigay ng kapangyarihan dito ay ang dragon. Before I continue, alisin nyo, nyo sa isip nyo si Saddam Hussein. Alisin nyo sa isip nyo si, si Bin Laden. No? Alisin nyo sa mga isip nyo yan mga kapatid because this is not actually a political thing. Actually, this is political plus religion. Kasi meron dito nakakabit na worship. You will not worship in the government. You will worship in the church. Dito natin makikita, sa pasimula, actually nagsimula ito ng Revelation 12, kaya ay pinakita rin yung dragon na nasa langit. At itong dragon na itong mga kapatid, hinihintay niyang manganak yung babae. Dahil papatayin niya na naman yan. At mamaya, malalaman natin yan ulit sa third exodus na pangangaral. That's why you will connect again. Okay? At sabi rito mga kapatid, um, pagkatapos niyan, ang lumabas ay man-child, galit na galit mga kapatid, itong, itong uh, dragon na ito sa ipapanganak ng babae at doon sa babae. At dito makikita natin yung dragon na yan, binigyan niya ng kapangyarihan itong hayat na ito. At sabi rito mga kapatid, walang makalaban sa kanya. Okay, so verse 5. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies and power was given unto him to continue 40 and 2 months. So may boses itong hayop na ito. What do we mean by this? Kapag nagsalita ito, pakikinggan ng tao. But remember mga kapatid, ang hayop na ito, ang nagbigay sa kanya ng authority ay dragon. Pero pakikinggan siya ng tao. Pag bumisita ito sa isang bansa, hahalik ang mga hari sa singsing niya. Hindi ba pa ba ito ng eroplano na hindi importanteng tao ang mga sasalubong nang de-represent ng hayop na ito? No? And um, sabi ko nga, we will have an open mind in, in this kasi yung description ng Bible is just exactly even the location. I hope matapos natin ang buong Revelation 13 ng apat na series. Hopefully, no? Beast out of the sea, then the gentle world powers, then the beast out of the land, then the mark and the image of the beast. Pag hindi kinaya, pag samahin ang mark and image of the beast, magiging lima. Hindi natin alam kung tapos na ang quarantine. Hallelujah. So, sabi nito sa verse 5, pag nagsalita ito ng mal- m- mga dakilang bagay ng pamumusong, No? So pag nagsalita ito mga kapatid, pakikinggan siya but actually the speech of this beast is a blasphemy. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God, verse 6, to blaspheme his name, that's one, and his tabernacle, that's second, and them that dwell in heaven. Okay, that's third. No? Then verse 7, And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. Tingnan niyo ulit mga kapatid. No? Pagkatapos ang halimaw na ito, bigyan ng kapangyarihan ng dragon. Darating yung panahon, bibigyan din siya ng kapangyarihan ng lahat ng tao. The thing is, kaya nga mga kapatid, Salamat na lang sa pandemic, nag-practice na tayo. No? Kaya nga sabi ko, pakatapos itong pandemic, hindi ko lang alam pag hindi pa prepared ang bride. Hindi pumayag ang ating Panginoon. Parang ano lang yan, parang isang game lang yan eh. Alam niyo mga patid, para hindi kayo mabore. If you, are, if, you like, if you really like games and sports, you treat everything as a sporting event, lalo na pagka kapag kailangan ng strength and endurance. Listen to this, mga kapatid. Hindi ito uh, ordinaryong laban kasi darating yung panahon 
Pagkatapos siyang bigyan ng kapangyarihan ng dragon, ang tao naman ngayon ang magbibigay sa kanya ng kapangyarihan. At the thing is, mga kapatid, galit ito sa mga pinili ng Diyos. So imagine niyo ang laban na darating in the future. Actually, it is now starting. No? I'm reading the Bible sa mga may questions po, sa mga bisita natin. No? Uh, I am requesting an open mind here. Bakit? I am reading the Bible and I will cite some history and I will cite some articles na nang galing sa encyclopedia. Para wag niyong sabihin sarili ko itong opinion. No? At sabi sa verse 8, And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship Him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. Kaya nga hindi sasamba dyan ang mga pinili. Dahil ang sasamba lang dyan, mga kapatid, yung mga tao na hindi nakasulat ang kanilang pangalan sa aklat ng buhay ng kurdero. Amen. Hallelujah. At kakaunti lang yan. Hindi yan marami. Ang Biblia na ang nagsulat, ang, ang nagsulat mga kapatid, pakatapos siyang bigyan ng kapangyarihan ng dragon, bibigyan siya ng kapangyarihan ng tao, tatanggapin ito ng tao. No? Itong hayop na ito, pag nagpalit ito ng leader, buong mundo nanonood, maghihintay ng puting usok. Kahit anong religion, ipinakikita dyan mga kapatid, na gano'y ito ka-influential and yet, ang nagbigay ng kapangyarihan sa hayop na ito ay ang dragon. And the bride knows it. Bakit? Kasi nakasulat ang pangalan niya sa aklat ng buhay ng kordero. Okay? Verse 9, If any man have an ear, let him hear. Ayan ang ginagawa natin ngayon. Kung meron tayong pakinig, makinig tayo ngayon. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Okay. Pause tayo ng konti. To prove this right, babalik tayo sa aklat ng times of Gentiles. And the book of the times of the Gentiles is the book of Daniel. No? Nakakatawa ang book of Daniel, mga kapatid, kasi... Nakita ni Daniel ang times of the Gentiles and yet Daniel is prophesying the liberation of Israel. 70 weeks of Daniel. No? So, may nakikita na akong question, sino ang dragon? Okay. Um, someone we can answer it. May mga nagka-question na po sa nanonood. That is in Revelation 12. No? Baka hindi nakapanood yung kapatid last time. Okay. Thank you for your question. Okay. Sa Daniel's vision, sa Daniel chapter 7 verse 1, this is the Old Testament. Okay. Sa Old Testament, sa Daniel 7, meron ding nakitang vision si Daniel through dream. At sa amin ng Daniel chapter 7 verse 1, in the first year of Belshazzar, king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and visions of his head upon his head. Then he wrote a dream and told the sum of the matters. <coughs> Sabi ng Bible, si Daniel nagkaroon ng dream vision. Verse 2. Daniel spake and said, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of the heavens drove upon the great sea. And four great beasts came up from the sea, diverse one from another. I want you to notice, si John, nung nakita niya ang halimaw, sabi niya, parang leon, na parang leopard, na parang bear. Okay? So parang, Tama? Pero makikita nyo, parang tatlo lang yung nabanggit ni ni ano? Ni John. Tatlo lang. So yung tatlong yon pagdating dito kay Daniel, apat yung nakita niya galing din sa sea. Kaya mga kapatid, yung pang-apat mystery eh. At yan ang pagtutuunan natin ng pansin. Na? 
Apat yung nakita ni Daniel sa Daniel 7.3. Sabi niya rito, Four beasts came up from the sea, diverse one from another. Apat, galing din sa sea, ang nakita ni, ni John, mga kapatid, sa Revelation chapter 13 is a beast that came out of the sea. So, parehong sea. I will read. Okay lang kahit ako na sumagot niya later. So that you can listen also. Daniel 7.4 The first was like a lion and an eagle swings. I beheld till the wings thereof were plucked and it was lifted up from the earth and made a stand as a fit as a man and man's heart was was given to it. Sabi yung first daw ay lion na merong pakpak ng agila. And behold another beast second a second like to a bear, and it raised up itself on one side, and it had three ribs in the mouth of it, between the teeth of it, and they said, Thus, thus unto it, Arise, devour much flesh. So mga kapatid, may binanggit si John ni Leon, may binanggit din si Daniel na Leon. Panglima, may binanggit si John na bear, may binanggit din si Daniel 7.5 na bear. Verse 6, and, I, and this I beheld, and lo, another like a leopard which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl, and the beast had also four heads, and dominion was given to it. May nabanggit si John na leopard, may nabanggit din si Daniel na leopard. Pero pagdating sa pang-apat, walang description si John, wala rin ma-describe si Daniel. Daniel 7.7, 7, And after this I saw in the night visions, and behold, a fourth beast, Dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly. Walang like unto a dog, like, like unto a cat, like, like unto a goat. Walang ganun. Nung nakita ni Daniel yung description ng hayop, nung pang-apat, sabi niya lang, dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly. And it had great iron teeth. It devoured and break in pieces and stamped the residue, the feet of it. And it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it, and it had ten horns. <coughs> may nabanggit si John na ten horns, may nabanggit ni si Daniel 7.7 seven na ten horns. Mga kapatid, kayo nang magusga kung pareho yan. Palagay ko, hindi nag-usap si John tsaka si Daniel. That was thousand of years in gap. Pero ipinapakita ang mga kapatid, identical yan. Bakit? Isa lang ang Diyos na naghayag sa kanila niyan. No? Galing din sa dagat. At parehong pareho. Parehong may leopard, may, may bear, may, may lion. Pero pati yung pang-apat mga kapatid, pareho silang walang description. In the next slide, we can see, no? The beast out of the sea. Sa Revelation 13.1, sa left side, makikita ninyo, yaan yung... Um, yaan yung uh, description ni John. Sa right side, makikita ninyo mga kapatid, slide 10, have you, have you flash it? No? Meron ding four great beasts came up from the sea, diverse from one another. So, I hope you're seeing it na naka-flash. No? Okay. Anong sabi ng prophet mga kapatid? 1958, why are we not a denomination? Come here and I'll show you the judgment. Now there's going to be a judgment spoke upon the great whore, the unclean woman that sets upon many waters. See our many waters. Now the woman symbolizing a church and water symbolizes people. Pag sinabi mong water or sea, ang ibig sabihin niyan ay multitude of people. So, ang ibig sabihin, itong hayop na ito na nanggaling sa maraming tubig, ito ay hayop na tinanggap ng maraming tao. And yet, this is a beast. Okay. Next slide, yung Revelation 13.2 sa left side, Nandyan yung leopard, yung bear, yung lion, binasa na natin dyan, I had just highlighted it in red, Pagdating sa apat, mga kapatid, yung Daniel chapter 7, verse 4 to 7, nandyan din yan. No? Pero may kita nyo, tatlo lang ang binanggit ni, ni, um, 
ni John dahil ang description niya dyan mga kapatid, ang lahat-lahat lang ito, yan yung beast. Pero nung nakita ito ni Daniel mga kapatid, dahati ito sa apat, kaya nga pagdating sa revelation na reveal mga kapatid, yan lahat isang beast lang yan. No? In progression. Okay. Yan ang nakita ni John. Na nakita rin ni Daniel. Four beasts are four kingdoms. Nakikita niyo ba yung photo? Can they see it? The lion? No? The bear? The leopard? And the mystery beast? Walang description. Tingnan nyo nga yung picture, parang dinosaur na hindi mo maintindihan. Hindi, hindi mo maintindihan talaga eh. <laughs> Kasi hindi pinayagan ng Diyos na malaman. No? Hmm. This is the interpretation. Daniel 7.15 I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit in the midst of my body, and the visions of my head troubled me. I came near unto one of them that stood by, and I asked him the truth of all of this. So he told me and made me known the interpretation of the things. This great beast, 17, this great beast which are four, are four kings which shall arise out of the earth. So if this... Uh, Beasts are four kings, so these are four kingdoms. No? Okay. Patmos Vision, 1960. As concerning the rest of the beasts, they all had their dominion taken away. That's all Gentile powers and kingdoms will fall. Nakahula sa Bible mga kapatid, itong mga itong mga hayop na ito ay apat na kaharian, apat na gentile powers. So this is not Israel. This has nothing to do with Israel, pero may connection yan sa Israel. Okay? That's all gentile powers and kingdom will fall yet their lives are prolonged for a season and time. So meron yang kanya-kanyang panahon. No? At sabi ko ito ay gentle power. Kailan ito nagsimula? Kailan ito matatapos? Those are famous questions. Ano itong panahon natin? I will uh, speak about that in detail next next time, no? Next week. Kung ano 'yan. So, wag kayong mabor parang eskwela to. This is a little bit of history. Pero ang importante mga kapatid yung panahon natin. Diyan tayo magdudwell ng maigi. Kasi yung halimaw na yan, actually nasa to preempt lang ng konti. Nandito na tayo sa pinakapang-apat. Ang panahon natin ay nandito na tayo sa mystery beast. No? Ito na yung hindi mo maintindihan kung gano'ng kalakas. Natapos na yung tatlo, but we will study it next week in, in detail a bit mga kapatid. Pero nandito, kaya nga sa mga sumusubaybay po, sana, no, next week masubaybayan pa rin natin. Okay? Doon po sa mga nag-aabang. Bible po ang binabasa natin at saka ang message. You can also check history. Okay. Um, sabi rito, as concerning the rest of the beast, they all had their dominion. Okay. That's all the gentle powers and kingdoms will fall. Sabi, sabi, pero mga kapatid, they will fall, but they will be given a certain time. Kaya alam niyo mga kapatid, walang pwede pagmalaki ang tao. Minsan ang akala ng tao, malakas siya, subikat siya. Minsan, pagbibigyan siya lang ni Lord for a certain purpose. No? That kingdom will be built and that kingdom, those kingdoms will fall also. They will, they will uh, have a little time, season and time, and yet they will fall. Okay. The 70th week of Daniel, four gentle world political powers. Ano yung apat na yan? Now what's happened? The head of gold was Nebuchadnezzar. No? Ininsert ko lang dyan. Nebuchadnezzar is Babylon. Are we on the next slide? Okay. 
which he interpreted said, Another king shall come and be inferior to thee, which was Darius the Medo-Persia. No? Ang Medo-Persia, ito ang roots ng mga Turks. Ang Turks, mga kapatid, ang roots ng mga Muslims. At ang pinaka-roots silang mga kapatid ay si Ishmael. So somehow, anak ito ni Abraham. No? Kaya nga, mga kapatid, una sa lahat, Babylon was once a splendid country or gentle world power. No? Sa panahon ni Daniel, actually niya ito nakita sa panahon ni Nebuchadnezzar, which is the first gentle world power. Then dumating ang baraw, mga kapatid, sa panahon ni Belshazzar, na daig ni Darius, mga kapatid, naabutan ni Daniel yung dalawang kingdom na yan, na naig ang Medo-Persia, that's the combination of Medes and Persian. Kaya nga ang Persian, mga kapatid, meron ding roots yan. Uh, there was a time, I think sa time ni Esther, mga kapatid, no? yan ang panahon ng Medo-Persia. At mga kapatid, after na Bedo Persia, kailangan magpalit na eh. Kaya ang akala ni Alexander the Great, sikat siya, magaling siya, siya lang ang ginamit ni Lord dahil ang sabi ng message mga kapatid, which was Darius the Bedo Persians taking the Gentile kingdom over, next come after Bedo Persians was what? The Greeks. Kaya nga during those times, the Greek in power, who knows Athens, who knows Sparta? Pag sinabi mong Athens philosophers, Socrates, Plato, sino ba yung isang sikat? Aristotle, yan, the famous three philosophers. No? Pag, sinabi mong, pag sinabi mong wisdom at saka knowledge, Athens yan. Pero pag sinabi mong warfare, Spartan, city-state. No? Kaya pag maliit ka pa lang, pag nasa, Gre- nasa, nasa Greece ka, Anong gusto mo ba anak maging? Gusto ko pong maging abogado sa, sa, sa Athens ka. Anak, ano bang gusto mo maging? Gusto ko pong pumatay ng marami. Spartan yan. <laughs> Sige, mag-train ka. Bata pa lang mga kapatid. Kaya pagdating sa military, the Spartans, no? Um, during those times, the Alexander the Great, ang sabi ng message, the Greeks, Alexander the Great and so forth, the Grecians took the kingdom over. Pero ang sabi nga ng prophet, a little time lang yan. Kaya nga Leopard, mabilis na pumasok si Alexander the Great, mabilis niyang na-conquer ang buong mundo, mabilis ding nawala. Why? It is now for the time of the mystery beast. What is that? The Rome. No? Sabi niya rito, then what took it over from the Greeks? The Romans. History to mga kapatid, we cannot deny this. No? You check history. Kahit hindi kayo magbasa ng Bible mga kapatid, you check history. The Romans and whose ruled the Gentile world ever since? Romans, Romans. Now that was iron. Apat lang yan eh. So wala nang kasunod. Kaya nga sabi ko sa inyo, forget about Saddam Hussein. Forget about Bin Laden. No. Ngayon nga, patay na sila eh. Okay, okay. may issue na hindi na sila patay. Whatever it is, they are not the fourth Gentile world power. No? Not even the Abu Sayyaf or kung ano-ano pa ako ano-ano pa man ang sabi dito mga kapatid the romans okay you will decipher it at sabi ko nga no makikita natin sa buong history ng tao hanggang sa panahon natin ngayon walang nakadecipher nitong halimaw na ito na una siyang naging political power, imperial Rome, once ruled by the emperors. Yeah, I'm watching a doc- documentary of it, how they became splendor. And now, they became the mystery Babylon again. Naging church yan. Why? Kasi sa pamamagitan ng hayop na yan, nasamba ang dragon. Okay? Kaya nga, the last slide, the picture of this, these are kingdoms, political powers. First is Babylon, second is Medo-Persia, third is the Greece, then yung pang-apat ay ang Rome. No? At huwag niyong isipin, mga kapatid, ang Rome as a nation now. Now, this is a mystery beast. That will be, came, a mystery Babylon. 
So, salamat kay Lord. No? So, um, next week, sa Bible study natin, after this, na, magkukunik kayo, but before that, after my prayer, saka kayo mag-reconnect because I will have some announcements muna. Then, papasok tayo sa pangangaral ng salita ng Diyos. At dito, mga kapatid, ay, um, makikita natin na pagka, na pagka naikabit natin itong bagay na ito sa napanaginipan naman ni Nebuchadnezzar, then we will have a great picture of this beast out of the sea. Okay? So, ngayon mga kapatid, naka-livestream pa rin tayo at makikita natin dito na um, naging blessing ito sa karamihan. We are reaching uh, even beyond the borders of our country. At uh, ligit sa kaalaman ng mga kapatid, the deacons and I are having this meeting kung ano nang mangyayari because we are now in a modified GCQ on how it is, uh, will be. O, galing tayo sa lockdown and naging general quarantine and naging enhanced general quarantine. Then, naging modified general quarantine. Tama ba yung sinasabi ko rito? Then, itong modified general quarantine ay papunta na sa new normal. Okay? So, the deacons ng uh, mga churches and outreaches dito sa Kalamba, of course, in church sa, sa Bataan, may mga deacons din dyan. Sa San Juan, wala pang deacon dyan. So, uh, sa San Juan muna tayo, they decided na hindi pa rin sila sure if pwede mag-gathering. Kaya live streaming muna sila. So, that is the decision. So, the, so ang Token Life Ministry San Juan is live streaming pa rin. Okay. Sa Token Life Ministries Bataan, mga kapatid, yung mga deacons ay nag-uusap din and uh, may mga biyahe na nga daw ng bus galing ng Olonga po hanggang Bataan at meron na rin yata sa Sambales pero hindi sure kung ano ang mode na po pwede. May jeep na ba dyan? No? Meron na bang mga mga public transport dyan aside sa bus? Okay. So, ang problema rin doon sa Bataan ay 50% lang daw ng capacity ang po pwede. So, the deacons decided na live streaming pa rin. Okay, mga kapatid, ha, hindi ako ang nag-decide. I am getting the inputs of the deacons. Dahil kung papunta na tayo sa new normal, pero wag tayo mag the live streaming will continue on na. Baka hanggang rapture na ito. But yung physical fellowship natin is ganun pa rin. So sa kaalaman ng mga kapatid natin sa Bataan, Zambales, Olonga po, Pampanga, yung mga kapatid natin dyan, the deacons decided to be live streaming pa rin. Kung meron kayong objection and suggestion and recommendation, meron tayong mga kanya-kanyang GC. Okay? So, ayan. Kasi nga, uh, mas mga na na dito ko na i-announce. Dito naman sa Kalamba, mga kapatid, decision din ng mga deacons since 50% lang din. At uh, pag nag-50% tayo, mga kapatid, hindi rin tayo kakasya kung paghihiwa-hiwalayin natin. And another thing, kahit sa ang church ngayon, kailangan na ng thermal scanner. So, kailangan meron tayong thermal scanner to, to comply with the regulation and the law. Bago papasok dyan, babarilin yung noo. Hindi tatatakan, babarilin lang. No? So, Magandang balita, every week, alam niyo yung temperature niyo na hindi natin nagawa nung noon. Baka sa susunod niyan, blood chem na ang i-require bago pumasok. Hindi natin alam. Hindi natin alam. New normal na ito, mga kapatid. Eh. Marami nagsasabi, mga kapatid, we will not go back to usual normal. We will be in a new normal. Okay? So, Dikos, mga kapatid, sa, sa Kalamba, is decided also na Uh, live streaming muna but because generally 21 years old below and 60 years old above hindi pa ina-encourage tumabas okay but unti-unti dumadami na ang tao dito 
but we will still practice protocols and precautions. Alcohol, social distance, wala munang kamayan hanggat maaari, wala munang yakapan ng mga sisters hanggat maaari. Of course, yung mga hindi mag-asawa, huwag kayong magyakapan talaga. Hindi pwede yun. Okay? Wala munang ganon. Uh, mask, of course, and uh, yun nga, yung temperature check. Okay. Tiisin muna natin, huwag muna tayong magkamayan. Gusto natin sumunod para hindi tayo ma-apprehend. Okay? So, kasi uh, ito raw ay hanggang July 15. So, after July 15, may panibago na namang balita. So, we will uh, be in touch. I am in touch with your deacons. Don't worry. Whatever the, whatever will be the updates and decisions, I um, malalaman po ninyo. Okay? So, live streaming pa rin. Pero maraming naka-appreciate ngayon ng pandemic because of the live streaming because this has reached beyond Philippines, beyond imaginations as well kasi ang Bataan at San Juan ngayon nagkaroon ng prayer meeting. Meron pa tayong question and answer. So, I believe, mga kapatid, listen to this. I believe God has created a certain channel for us to be perfect. Yung mabagal nung noon na pabilis ngayon. No? Imagine, linggo-linggo tayo may Bible study, linggo-linggo tayo may question and answer. It never happened formerly. Why? Because the direction of the church, the bride, is perfection. Okay? So, salamat kay Lord. No? Of course, itong ating uh, pangarali public, whatever you're hearing from this, mga kapatid, this is the doctrine of the church. No? Kung meron kayong ibang church, I respect that. Okay? This is just as a minister, I am bound to teach what I know na makakapag-ano uh, tayo sa rapture, no? Uh, we, will, we will be there, okay? So, let us just respect it. I respect other pastors' uh, doctrine. And uh, if I am doing it, I am also bound, mga kapatid, to teach what I know and have checked it in the Bible, the message, history, general information. So the, those are the announcements. Dahil mamaya, magtutuloy-tuloy tayo. Then after my prayer, there will be a song, I think. No? Puputulin, mga kapatid, for documentation. After in a few minutes, then go back to the preaching of the word. And our message later is the third exodus. May God reach the souls. May God reach the elected ones. May God reach... Hallelujah. The seed in the hearts. Let us bow our heads and pray. Maraming salamat, aming Ama, for your grace and mercy, for your loving kindness that is better than life. As we worship you, Lord, as we enter the holy grounds of your word. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you, Father. As you are hearing our prayers as well. Forgive us, Lord, to all our wrongdoings, shortcomings, even our sins and our iniquities, Lord. You have covered it by your blood. Maraming maraming salamat as we worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord God, thank you, Lord. As we continue, Lord, on, Lord, to be with the move of the Holy Spirit in our age, help us to have courage to stand in your word. Because the prophet said, if we will stand in your word, then someday the world will, will stand for us. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Maraming salamat. In Jesus' name, we believe and we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you.